Alright, so we made it to Perth, we're here for the core slider jam. We're at the build house right now, just putting all the final touches to all the obstacles. Let's go and have a look at them. So basically Toby from Core Online Magazine is organising the, the Core Slider Jam. He's a uh, house sitting out in the south of Perth and that's where they're building all the sliders and kickers. And they've basically just been working the last three weeks in the garden setting up these huge rails. And yeah, it's starting to look pretty sweet, it's all just taking shape. Yeah, looking at the kicker, it looks pretty good. They've made it with a good approach. It's not too steep. Also, they've made it adjustable, so we can adjust the angle going to make it steeper or less. Just hope they put it at least a couple of sessions with a left foot forward for me. I'd like to try and do some sevens over that. There's also a lot of little sliders, just little ones that will be in there, but that's going to be quite cool because if you're doing a run or something, you'll just be able to tap it or just do a little press along it. and Nothing too serious, but it's all good fun and just fills it all up. They made one this year with like uh, two different angles. So one's sort of like offset one way and then further down the line it's offset the other. So you'll be able to jump up there, maybe press on like your right foot and then as you get round like sort of shift your weight and then press onto the other foot. The two main features are the ones that I'm going to be most looking forward to doing. The first one being the rooftop. It's got a good incline and decline so that's the main thing what makes the big sliders, when they're big they can't be too steep and it looks like it's going to be super fun because you'll go up it, there's sl slightly steeper one side so you'll be able to like do an air, maybe do like a, a gap free and like land on the down slope. If it's left foot forward if we get to section that I'd hope to try and do like a five and land sort of pressing down, it's pretty high expectations, but we'll see. Yeah, the wall ride looks pretty cool. I've ridden a couple before at the Kite Punk, so I was able to do like a, a flat nine. You just get on there and you start spinning, and you can't really stop, it's pretty cool. You'll be able to probably do something up on the main wall ride and then sort of like press out or hit your tail off the lip and uh, continue on on that little strip, that little bar at the top. And that's also angled, so you can get some pretty decent presses off the end of that, I reckon. So Dre's also here, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's travelled all the way from Antigua and definitely one of the guys pushing it on the, on the sliders at the minute and probably one of the most stylish guys out there so it's wicked that he's come over and it's going to be good to ride with him because definitely push each other it's going to be good to watch him see what he's up to and you know, try and try and do some of that stuff as well